Hello, it's your friendly neighborhood librarian here, back with some more book recs. Today we're going to talk about banned books because it's banned book week here at the library. So what is a banned book? Books are banned for a lot of reasons, but the most frequent reason is that parents or members of the community um, petition a local library or a school library to take a book off the shelves and not let children read it because they think it's inappropriate for their age group. Um, the ALA, which is the American Library Association, has been celebrating Banned Book Week um, for 50 years because the ALA feels that it's important for children and teenagers to be exposed to a lot of different stories and viewpoints. Because reading stories about people different than you or who might think and believe different things than you is an important part of growing up. So at the Perry Public Library, um, we will never stop a child or a teenager from checking out a book from a different section. Um, there are slightly different rules at school, um, but we're going to talk about some banned books today. And these are all books that have not been banned in Perry, and you can find them on Sora or Clevenet. Um, part of understanding our history is understanding why different communities might want to ban books. Um, so you can Google why these, why these books were banned, if that's something you want to do, and maybe you learn a little bit about American history and um, the history of banning books. So the first book I'm going to show you is Fahrenheit 451. This is by Ray Bradbury. He's one of my favorite authors. Um, this is a dystopian novel set in the future. And a little bird told me that the seventh graders might be reading some dystopian fiction this year. Um, this is a book about Guy. Guy's a fireman, but his job as a fireman is quite different than firemen that we know today. His job is to search out and destroy the most illegal things in his community, and those things happen to be books. Guy lives in a world where books are illegal, uh, so he never questions why he's supposed to do this. It's just part of his job until he finds, uh, makes a friend, and they show him the power of books and different ideas. And he starts to question why it's his job to burn these books and what makes them so dangerous. So this is Fahrenheit 451. It's very ironic that a book about banning books was banned. It's by Ray Bradbury. You can find it on Clevenet or Sora. This book is by Neil Gaiman. It's called The Graveyard Book. And this book is about a boy. His name is Nobody Owens. Everybody calls him Bod. And Bod was raised by ghosts in a cemetery. When he was very little, a man named Jack murdered his family. And so now he lives in a cemetery. And if he leaves, Jack is hunting for him. So this is about growing up with ghost parents and living in a cemetery. It's kind of creepy and scary, but Bod is a lot of fun. He has a great sense of humor, and there's lots of adventures in this book. It's Neil Gaiman's The Graveyard Book. This is a book from somebody who looks different uh, than me. This is about this girl right here. Her pen pal in San Francisco, Cisco calls her Julie, um, but she lives in Alaska and in the village where she lives, they call her Mayak. Uh, and Mayak is a teenager and something happens in her village and she doesn't feel safe anymore. So she runs away to the Alaskan wilderness. And while she's there, in order to survive, she befriends a pack of wolves and she lives with them for a summer. Um, but then she has to decide, is she going to stay with the wolves in the wilderness by herself, or is she going to return to her village? So the book is called Julie of the Wolves. It's written by Jean Craighead George, and it is about Julie or Mayak. This is another piece of dystopian literature. This is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. You might have read this series. There's actually a new book that just came out that's a prequel to this one. Um, but America looks very different in this book. And it's about Katniss Everdeen, and she's a teenager, and she's trying to survive while living in poverty. And then she gets selected for the reaping, and she has to go battle other teenagers and try to survive in the arena. 
So this is a survival dystopian book. It's by Suzanne Collins. There are three books in the series, plus the new prequel that just came out, and that one is called A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. You probably want to read this one if you haven't read any of them. Finish the series and then go back and read that prequel if you haven't read these yet. This is, an, this is another book by Neil Gaiman. This is called Coraline. It's about a little girl named Coraline who's searching for adventure in her drab everyday world. And then she finds a door in her house and she goes through it. And on the other side is a much more exciting, better house that looks just like hers, except it's better and more exciting. And there's another mother there and another father. The problem is they want to keep Coraline with them forever and change her. And she has to try to get back to her real parents and the real world. And there's a fun story about this book. Neil Gaiman, who wrote it, was trying to get it published. And the publisher said, there's no way we can publish this book. It's terrifying. And he said to her, well, take it home and read it to your children and see what they think. And so the publisher took uh, the proof home and she read it to her little girl. And her little girl was so involved. She didn't want to go to sleep. She had to know how it ends. Mommy, you need to read me more. Mommy, you need to read me more. And so it got published. At a convention years later, Neil told the story. And the daughter of the publisher, now grown up, was there. And she said, I was terrified of Coraline, but I needed to know how it ended because I loved the main character so much, and I begged my mom to finish the book. So even though this book is terrifying, it's a really good read. It's very creepy. The reason it's banned is because it's terrifying. It was published, and I think it's a great book. It's a lot of fun. It was made into a movie, so you can watch the movie and read the book and see what's different. So that's Coraline by Neil Gaiman. The last book I'm going to talk about is a graphic novel. I love graphic novels. I talk about them a lot. This one is Drama by Raina Telgemeier. You might have read Sisters or Smile or Ghosts, all by the same author. Raina likes to draw inspiration from her own life to tell the stories that she tells in her graphic novels. Smile is a graphic novel autobiography. She tells a story that happened to her. In drama, what she does is she bases a lot of the characters on people that she knew growing up. So drama is about Callie. Callie's in seventh grade. There she is. And Callie works on her theater stage uh, crew. And Callie has crushes and middle school drama and makes friends and makes new friends and all the stuff that you would think would happen to a middle schooler in seventh grade. So this is a graphic novel. It's lots of pictures all about Callie and her stage crew friends and the things that happen to them while they're in seventh grade. You can find this book on Sora. I know you can find it on Sora. I checked. Uh, and Cleavenet. So these are all banned books to celebrate banned book week. Happy reading.